Welcome to our Blender 3D tutorial. In this video, we'll explore the most commonly used sculpting brushes in the Blender software, essential tools for creating stunning 3D models and digital sculptures. So, let's dive right in. First up, we have the Clay Strips Brush. It's perfect for building up volume and adding broad strokes of clay-like material to your sculpt. With its intuitive controls, you can easily adjust the size and strength of the brush, allowing for precise detailing or covering larger areas in no time. One of the key features of the Clay Strips brush is its dynamic control. By adjusting the brush size, you can sculpt fine details or cover larger areas with just a few strokes. The brush strength allows you to control the intensity of the clay application, giving you precise control over the sculpting process. Next, we have the Smooth Brush. As the name suggests, it smooths out rough surfaces and creates a more refined look. This brush is especially handy for achieving organic shapes and transitioning between different forms. Its strength can be adjusted to control the level of smoothing applied. To quickly use this brush, hold down Shift and Draw. Moving on, we have the Grab Brush. With this brush, you can pull, push, and deform your model, giving it a dynamic and expressive touch. The grab brush is fantastic for adjusting proportions, creating unique poses, or simply refining your sculpt to match your artistic vision. Now, let's talk about the inflate brush. This brush inflates or deflates specific areas of your sculpt, allowing you to add or remove volume effortlessly. It's particularly effective for enhancing muscles, wrinkles, or creating organic shapes with natural variation. Our next brush is the crease brush. This brush adds sharp creases or edges to your model, giving it definition and adding realism to your sculpt. It's perfect for creating wrinkles, folds, or emphasizing hard edges. One of the key features of the crease brush is its ability to create sharp edges by pushing or pulling the surface geometry. By adjusting the brush size and strength, you can precisely control the intensity of the crease effect allowing for subtle or more pronounced results. The crease brush offers adjustable settings such as brush falloff and smoothness to provide you with fine-tuned control over the crease effect. The brush falloff determines how gradually the crease transitions from its highest point, while smoothness allows you to soften the edges for a more natural appearance. Last but not least, we have the mask brush. This brush is used to define areas that you want to protect or exclude from any sculpting changes. By using the mask brush, you can precisely control which parts of your model remain untouched while you work on the rest. One of the key features of the mask brush is its ability to precisely paint and refine masks on your model. By adjusting the brush size and strength, you can control the granularity and intensity of the mask, allowing for intricate selections or broad mask coverage. The mask brush offers additional settings, such as blur and invert, to enhance your masking capabilities. The blur option allows you to smooth the mask transitions, creating a more gradual and natural effect. The invert option allows you to quickly switch between protecting and excluding the masked areas. With the mask brush at your disposal, you gain complete control over the sculpting process. You can confidently work on specific areas of your model while knowing that the masked regions will remain unaffected, allowing for focused sculpting and detailing. These are just a few of the most widely used sculpting brushes in Blender 3D. Remember, the beauty of Blender lies in its versatility, and you have a wide array of brushes at your disposal to bring your imagination to life. We hope you found this tutorial helpful. Be sure to experiment with these brushes and unleash your creativity. Stay tuned for more Blender tips and tricks, and happy sculpting!